Hi everyone, imagine I have a page and on that page I have an input box. But the problem with that input box is that when the page loads, it resets itself a couple times. Maybe it renders, maybe it replaces the element with another input. For whatever reason, it's very flaky in the first 100, 500 milliseconds. Now a very fast user can find this flakiness, but usually they don't and they just retype whatever they want to enter in the input box. But our automated test suffers. It tries to type this long string, hello there friend, but as it types, notice it gets reset, right, a couple times. It could be reset once, it might be missing first letter or the last letter. It makes the test flaky and it is very, very annoying. So just typing and checking the value of input element fails in this case. We have to do something else. So I'll show you how to retry typing into the input box if its value after typing is unexpected value. So we're going to disable this test and instead we'll start a new test and I'll call it it. So I'm going to use my utility called Cypress Recurse. So I'm going to import Cypress Recurse and from that module up is going to grab Recurse. So first we visit the page and it's the same page as before. Now we need to type. Now we want to retry the type if the element has a different value from what we expected. So we're going to take the text we expect to type right here. And now instead of just saying sci.get flaky input box type text, we're going to recurse it. And recurse in its simplest form is just two arguments. One is a function. Which commands do you want to do? So this is Cypress commands. And the second argument is a predicate. So imagine that this chain of commands finishes. What does it yield? It yields the input element, because that's where it typed in. So it will give you the jQuery element of the input. And now you need to return true or false. Are you done or not? The input value is, if it's text, then we're done. Right, we successfully typed. Okay. Now notice it keeps typing because when it typed, right, it got the flaky input input box typed, and notice that our page removed the first part of a string. That's what it does. Then it failed this predicate. The value wasn't what we expected it to be. So what does it do? It iterates again. It has a default maybe time timeout of maybe a couple hundred of milliseconds. So it typed again, but it never cleared the previous value and we should clear it. So let's add it right here. So we're going to clear and then type. Okay, I think we got it. So on the first attempt, we typed and only part of a string survived, so to speak. The predicate returned false. The value of this input box wasn't what we expect to be. So it tried again and it found the input box. It had value, so we cleared it and then it typed. And at this point, the application is stable. It allows you to, find, to type without any problems. The input box has expected value and the Cypress recurse finishes. You can see this slightly better by adding a timeout of, let's say, one second between the attempts. Okay, and uh, actually it's called delay option between each attempt. We want to wait for one second and time out, let's say, five seconds. Okay, now it's a little bit more clear. So first attempt and then another attempt a second later. Perfect. So this is how you can avoid flaky tests by using Cypress Recurse utility method that can type into the boxes that are initially unstable by trying to clear and type again if a predicate returns false.